Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is Sunday. I was going to vlog yesterday, but it was pouring down with rain and it was just miserable. And I don't know if you can tell, but today is going to be a better day because it's clear blue sky and I've got a bunch of stuff to do to my car. I've got some packages here. I'll show you what that is later. I've also got this box as well. Um, I'll show you what that is, but I'm excited to put some parts today. Before I start this vlog, I just want to say thank you. I just reached 2,000 subscribers. I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. It, none of this would have been possible without you, so um, I just want to say thank you for your continued support. And I got a lot of support for my new car, so I'm sorry for the people that are watching this that are waiting for mini content. Uh, if you're new to this, um, I've got a new car, it's a Honda S2000, and uh, this is going to be my new project car, so the mini is no longer mine. Um, it, hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes away this weekend. It's a little sad, but yeah, it's time to move on. But with that being said, let's get today started. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to fit today, and I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. So my first mod today is going to be replacing these bulbs and um, this is the Broadway mirror that I fitted a while back if you want to watch that video the link will be up here but yeah these are the lights I'll be changing so at the moment they're a horrible colour this sort of um, yellow orange light I'm going to be replacing them with some fancy LEDs you just have to use a flat screwdriver and pry this open and then replace the bulbs so I'm going to do that right now and it should clean up the interior if you haven't watched the video already, I tried to replace my gear knob for a Dragon Ball. It finally came through. I've got the new part here, so I'm really excited to fit that. I was going to return my old one, but I just ended up buying a new one. So I've got a spare one. If you guys want a Dragon Ball in your car, and then hit me up. I'll slide into my DMs or whatever, and uh, we could sort something out. But first things first, I'm going to replace the light bulbs. So here we go. This took like two minutes, but... That's already much better. If you guys want to buy the same interior bulb for your S2000, then this is the parts that I got from eBay. It's the part number there. Four LEDs, two of them, and uh, yeah. So, very, very nice. Now, I'm gonna change this real quick and get my Dragon Ball fitted. And uh, you can already tell there, KNN, so. That's another part that I'm going to be putting on the car today. If you guys like my new gear knob, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I like it. It doesn't look too tacky. And uh, yeah, I've got the seven ball, dragon ball. Loving it, I've wanted that for so long. And uh, yes, I'm so happy that it's finally on. If you guys want an extra dragon ball, or if you want uh, if you want one for your car, then I've got one here, slide into my DMs, and uh, yeah, we can work something out. Imagine having, imagine that. Oh, shall I do it? That looks kind of funky. Might just super, super glue that on. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm pretty much just changing out all the little things before I start doing the big mods. So the reason why I haven't been doing big mods at the moment is because uh, of my current living situation. I've got a gravel driveway outside my flat, which is not really ideal for jacking up the car and stuff. But um, my girlfriend's mum's kindly lent me her driveway for today so I can work on my car. I do plan on washing the car as well because it is a beautiful day. The car needs a wash. I haven't washed it properly since like oh, a couple of weeks now. So these are the bulbs that I'm gonna put in on my car. The headlight bulbs, I think they are 6,000 or 8,000, I'm not too sure. I will have all the items in the description below so if you wanna go check them out, the links will be down in the description below. So let's go outside and fit the new lights. These are the stock bulbs on the S2000. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like a tint of yellow in it, and I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that, so I'm gonna jack up the car because I was told that it's actually easier to remove the wheels. I'm gonna be removing the arch liner in here, and then it's just a case of just replacing the bulbs, so pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car. Now 
now we've got access to the arch liner which is here um, I've just noticed when I bought the car the guy did say that it was polybush and uh, it looks like they are these are the purple power flex probably I don't know if they're a different brand but they look like power flex to me so uh, yep this is the bill sign call overs that's up because on my car I do plan on a uh, lowering it at some point probably not today when I get some new wheels um, I'll see how it sits on the car and then uh, we'll adjust this, get it to the max drop because you know I'm all about that stance low life. <laughs> and um, I've got to take these helper springs off to give me an extra inch drop. So, but that will be for another video. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And I'm also at the same time, I don't know if you can tell, but there's this plastic trim here that goes right round the wheel arch. Um, I was told to remove that because mud can get underneath this and it can cause rust. So while the wheel's off I can just go ahead and take all the screws off and take this plastic trim off and then when I get my new wheels I'm going to roll the fenders and uh, hopefully get this to um, poke out a little bit depending on the offset of the wheels that I'm going to go for. I've got some wheels, um, I've been looking at some wheels so hopefully um, in the next couple of weeks or so I'll be doing just that but today we're going to go ahead and change the bulb. So guys, here's a little update. So I knew you had to take the arch liner out, but it's such a ball ache because this is the only way you're going to get to the headlight bulbs or your side lights or your indicator stuff. And um, there's so many clips that you have to undo. And then there's a bunch of um, screws that you have to take out from underneath this bumper. Like three, four, like five screws, I think. And one of them uh, managed to snap off. So, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five that one snapped off and they're all rusted here are the bolts so this is the one that snapped on me so that's definitely not going back in but it's such long-winded process just to remove the normal headlights so this is the old one these are the new ones that I'll be putting on HID so yeah it is 6000 and there is the part or the bulb size that you need D2S I'd like to introduce Humphrey Hey mate, you camera shy. Hello mate, cute little doggo. <laughs> Can I remind you guys how fiddly this is? Yeah, it's very fiddly. I think it's in there, right? So, after an hour, the new headlight bulbs are in. Obviously, it's broad daylight, so you're not going to see the difference. But they've got like a tint of blue, and it's more white in my. I don't know if the video can capture that, but that's done. Um, with regards to this bit, I thought it was a separate piece, but this is the bit I'm talking about, the bit of plastic. And uh, it looks like it's not too bad. Um, I'm probably just gonna get myself a Dremel and just cut this all the way around. But that's gonna be for another video. But bulbs are in, I've also don't ask about that. <laughs> um, I'm also going to change the number plate bulbs and then uh, after that it's just a case of putting the new airbox in, not the new airbox sorry, the new filter and then I'm going to wash my car. These are the bulbs I went for, hopefully these are the right ones and um, if I'm right in saying there's a couple of uh, bolts or pop-up screws, whatever you want to call them, there you have to remove, I'll take the, uh, that orange out and an onion. And uh, there's one, and I think there's another one up here that you have to take off. Don't take the bumper off, don't do a me. You'll save yourself like 10, 15 minutes. And then yeah, just pry off there. And I'll just pull up the bulb here now. Uh, here it is. So yeah, it looks like I did buy the new, um, the right ones. Happy days, right, I'm gonna get this fitted and put my bumper back on. Now that's done, I can install this so this is the genuine KN filter for the s2000 so the honda s2000 has a little um slot that you can put this in so it sits like this but i'll show you when i pop the bonnet up um i'm gonna get my lovely assistant actually so here's the pod filter so i know i mentioned that i was going to do the airbox mod so i'll show you what that is so this is the stock airbox on the S2000. So there's a few clips, one, two, three, four, five, six clips that you have to take off. 
and it should pop right off. Um, there's this little air diverter thing. So essentially the air box mod is, I'm gonna snap this off and take it off. And then if you look down here, it's split into two compartments. So there's a massive wall here that's restricting the airflow into the air box. So what I'm gonna do is first remove this and then when I have time, I'm gonna be snapping this off so to allow more air into the air in box. And then, um, yeah, so this is the stock one. And for some reason, it's not fitted properly. So, so if you look down here, can you see that hole? Go deep. Yeah, so that's the hole where this notch goes in. So out with the old, in with the new. So yeah, that's the KNN filter fitted, but we're gonna have to remove that when I get the time. The sun's going down. I'm gonna wrap it up, wash the car, and then I'll end the vlog. Right, it's that time again. It's time to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. I'm really glad that I managed to change all the bits that I wanted. My new gear knob, all the lights, my dome lights, my number plate lights, my headlight bulbs, and a quick wash. I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, next weekend, hopefully, I've got some fluids that I need to change, like the clutch fluid, which is brake fluid, and the gearbox fluid. I plan on doing that at some point. If the mini cell goes through, then next weekend I'm gonna have to uh, hold out on those mods or those maintenance parts, and I'm gonna have to take the mini all the way up to Birmingham to drop the car off. Who knows what's gonna happen next weekend, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys wanna follow me on my Instagram and follow my build, or if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and um, expect more videos coming up. I do plan on getting some wheels for this car. After that, we can mess around with the fitment and uh, lower my car and start getting it show ready. So I'm gonna sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace and chase your dreams.